Hey you guys and welcome back to all my new subscribers. Hello to all the old ones. Welcome back. So as you can kind of tell, maybe not, you know, it's a light beat. So my face is already done. Um, I am getting ready to go out. So I want it to be um, kind of brown with the slight burgundy. Um, so there will be coming from this shade here, um, which is strong. And then I don't want to say the wrong one. Yes, I'm going to go in with clean, um, which is this pretty burgundy color. And so mainly they're just going to use the brown um, all over the lid. I did prime my lids. Um, so lids are primed and we're going to jump right into it. You guys, I've been missing for quite some time. I've really missed you guys. Um, really missed you guys. And I will try to mention the brushes. Um, I know this one is by BH Cosmetics. It's the V5 brush. It's a really pretty stippling brush. It's one of my favorite actually. And it gets just the right amount of shade in there. I don't know. You know, I want to make sure you guys see all of that. And definitely, because it's such a dark chocolate shade, it's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to make it as dark as I can without making it harsh. Because what we're going to do here, I'm going to do this pretty dark chocolate shade. But I'm going to lighten it up. Um, with work which is oh don't want to drop it this pretty pink shade so I just went in with this brown here and I'm going to go in with this pink to just soften it up and then we'll jump into the burgundy when I get to the overall lid shade and my Emily is going to say brush to stick with a shit color on and just get it in there you guys so much has been going on I relocated like I told you guys, started a new job. I love that duo, that color. It's really pretty. It's soft. Um, really love it. And see how they're softening it up really nicely. <sighs> so pretty. But um, with me moving, uh, for some of you guys, I don't know how long some of you guys have been with me. But I am from New York, so when I moved here, I moved into a house. Um, and I never was a fan of the South. It's just something I got stuck with. And so, so what we're doing now is the South. I could do without it though, I'm definitely not a fan. This is such a pretty chocolate color. And like I said, I'm going in with work. I'm just going to soften it up in the crease. Slight circular motions. Because I don't want to take away from it. I just want to add some color to it. That's really pretty. And it doesn't need to be darkened up or anything. I love it. I'm going to add some more. I really like that color right there. Ah, oh, that is really pretty. It's like a peach, like a peach color almost. I love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to take my Luxie Precision Shade 239 brush. I love this brush. And I'm going to go in with Queen, which is going to be the overall lid color. These pigments, when I swatched them, were really, really nice. Um, very pigmented. And we're just going to pat this on in a patting motion. And it's not really a burgundy, more like a rust. But it's really pretty. I'll make sure you guys can see that. Don't mind me because I am drinking a red. But yeah, I love my new job. I like where I moved. The company I keep is just positive. And like I said, just with a patting motion, just pat that on.
and I don't know what I want to use for an inner core and a highlight. I actually have a duochrome color I'm thinking about. And so I'm going to go ahead and take the same brush, the BH Cosmetics V5, and just dip it in that pink a little bit just to soften it up right up in here so that it's a transition flow. It does have a little bit of uh, fallout but nothing on my face so far, so. Ooh, that's really pretty. Shades are just really pretty shades. And I haven't had, like I said, there's no fallout on my face. It's really pretty. Don't know what's going on right there. That's really, really pretty. I like that. I love it, love it, love it. And just darken up the inside, the outside, excuse me. Outside corners a little bit more with that chocolate. Just to keep it deep on the outside. Mm. I love it. That's really pretty. Hopefully my hair is not in the way you guys can see it. I realized when I did my face, I was like, I might as well record this. And so, this is a really nice fluffy dance brush. I think I want to take either extra, which is this color right here, or Smart AF, or Amazeballs right here for inner corner. I think an Amazeballs. Um, ooh, I blended that out by accident, but it's really pretty. Well, it wasn't by accident. I always run my inner corner highlight up, but... It was, I was looking for it more to be the leftovers than so much pigment. Best part, just go back in there with some chocolate, work and strong, and just darken it back up. So that it's truly just an inner corner highlight. The shimmers in this eyeshadow are gorgeous. I love it. The shimmers in this are really pretty. This is Carrie, you guys, and Carrie didn't look like this when I got home. So don't worry. I had to do some construction with Carrie. And just add some more of that inner corner highlight. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Um, let's see. We need the okay. So let's add this highlighter. No, I keep wanting to say highlighter. This eyeliner pencil, and I can't remember who it's by. Scone is who it's by. Scone Cosmetics. It's called Tattooed. Simply Tattooed, and it's one of my favorite liners. Oh, one of my favorite liners. It is a felt tip, which I hate felt tips, but it's very precise. one of my favorite and I don't really care for felt tips because they do that thing in the corner and I don't like to actually stretch out my um, eye when I do my liner with my finger like you're gonna get all these wrinkles in this inner corner and that's what you're gonna get but anyways it's one of my favorite and when it doesn't leave like the streaky mark I guess that's one thing I like about it. It 
It just has very good glide when you put it on. It's like one eye gives me hell more than the other. Love it. Then I'm gonna put on my not so favorite MAC mascara. And it's not really my favorite at all. But it does get the job done. I like it. I do like that it does this. Like it's you know flexible, but I don't like it. Oh, not on my hair, Jesus. Mm mm. It does a great job on the lashes, but it's not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. But because it's Mac and it costs a cute little penny, we gonna use it. Ah! Y'all, that just happened. And I would have let that dry, but that would have meant taking off the whole look. See, I can get away with that because I can just. on the inner corner hard huh? <laughs> but um ugh. hate when that happens and then people like let it dry mm -mm, babe. gotta catch it now gotta catch it now I don't like wearing false lashes so these is my lashes Can't believe this is happening right now. This mascara is getting very messy. Thank God for brushes that just get the job done. So that is it. That's the look, and that's my beat. Hopefully, you guys like it. I'll be back with another look. If you can think of any color combos that you'd like me to do. Don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment box. And until next time, you guys, bye.